Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Priyanka. Well, today is a special video because I have collaborated with one of my friends and fellow YouTuber, Geeta. Well, Geeta has recently moved from Latvia to Bergen in Norway and this video I have specially collaborated with her so don't forget to like and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Her handle is Ghoulie's Girlfriend. I will leave her description and her handle details in my description box below and if you haven't liked and subscribed to my page also yet so do that like subscribe share so let's begin with today's video. So what we did here was we went to a local grocery store we picked five random Norwegian snacks that both of us have never tried before. So we thought we should pick these five snacks and eat them, uh, give our feedback on camera live for the first time. Nothing is staged out here. It's all real, candid and from our heart. So we'll eat all of these five Norwegian snacks and towards the end, we will tell you which one we liked the most and which were like not really nice. So that is going to be really fun. So over to you, Gita. You go first. You taste it, and you tell me well, how do you like the first product. Start with sweet things. Priyanka, are you ready? Pops. So pops is actually found in many supermarkets here in Norway, and it's quite popular here as a sweet treat. And yeah, what should we expect? It's a uh, corn with milk chocolate. I have high high uh, demands for milk chocolate because. For me, top of the tops is Freya's milk chocolate, obviously. I don't know how about you, Pranka, but that's for me. So, I don't know about this. Uh, oh, they're so small. Looks like, oh my god, like rabbit poo. I'm sorry for saying that. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's quite airy. I was expecting more, like, crunchiness and there is a lot of milk chocolate outside. The milk chocolate kind of is killing the vibe of corn. It's very sweet. Too sweet for me. I don't know how about you, Pranka. Let me know. That's funny that you found them like rabbit poo because for me, these pups, sweet treats, they look like asteroids to me, like meteors hitting the earth. So that's how my imagination runs. I'm gonna open them, eat them, and tell you how I find these sweet snacks like. Let's open them. This, like, I have high expectations because I have tried Smash in the past and I really liked Smash. That's one of the really popular treats out here in Norway and I really liked it. Pops is new to me, so I'm equally excited to see how it turns out. So let's open it on camera and see how it tastes. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. Actually, uh, okay, uh, rabbit poo. <laughs> it looks like asteroid or a meteor hitting the earth. So let's taste it. It has a corn and a very puffy, airy flavor to it. The milk chocolate is pretty sweet. And uh, you can literally taste the corn aftertaste to it. So yeah, pops. Yeah, I like it. Not bad. And I didn't even uh, know that a thing like that exists until I came to Norway. I don't know how about India. Do you have something like that? But in Latvia and I think in other European countries, you don't have fish cakes. It's easy to cook. You either put it on a pan and just fry it a little bit. Or if you're lazy, you can microwave it or as I'm doing in the oven. So I actually have one here, a little bit warm. So it smells like hell of a fish, but I love fish, but it's okay, don't. You can see it's white inside. So it's made from white fish. I'm assuming it's torsk. Oh my God, I'm dropping my Norwegian vocabulary here. <laughs> very, very tasty. I love it. I'm definitely adding that to my diet because if you are like into healthy lifestyle, you should probably eat this because a hundred grams of this one contains 
14.2 grams of protein. So this is a healthy stuff and I really love it. Priyanka, let me know how do you like it because I'm a fish person, so obviously I like it. It's really cool stuff, really cool stuff. Uh, Gita, you asked me if we have something like this in India. Well, we don't really have anything like this in India. India is mostly about chicken and uh, lamb. You have minced chicken and minced lamb and a lot of fish towards the coastal area, but fish cakes, nah, nah, you don't really find fish cakes in India. So I'm as new to this as you are. I also love seafood, but I'm more about, you know, a prawns and uh, a lobsters kind of a person. I'm not really into fish, but now ever since I moved to Norway, I've started eating a lot of fish. So I'm just as excited to taste these with an open mind and see how they go. So let me open them. I'm gonna, uh, you know, put them in an oven five, 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna eat them just like you did. So wait for me and I'll get back to you. So fresh from the oven after 10 minutes, the fish cake is ready. Definitely smells fishy, like you can smell the aroma from a distance, you know, there is a fish being prepared at home. It's very overpowering. But nonetheless, I'm tempted to eat it and try it and let me see how it tastes. So here I go. Okay. Very, very tasty. It's like, I'm pleasantly surprised because I'm not really a fish person as I told you, but I'm gonna go again okay, and eat it, it's that tasty. I'm wondering why did I never try this before? If you are a seafood lover and you're watching this, taste this. It might just blow your mind away. It's really tasty. Definitely a thumbs up. Brunos or the brown cheese. It's also something you can find only in Norway and it's actually invented in Norway. I am a savory cheese person. I like it smelly and very salty. Uh, but this one is obviously not like that. You, it's according to the first original brown cheese recipe that was created in 1863. So this is a legendary thing and this is very Norwegian. And according to the reviews I was reading, it's supposed to be a little bit caramelly. Ranka, how do you feel about sweet cheeses? It definitely has the consistency of cheese, but it's sweet. But for me, I guess it reminds me of my childhood when I was eating condensed milk with sugar. Yeah, it's so sweet. And you know, I'm gonna do it like real Norwegian thing. I'm going to put it on knakkebrød and add a little bit of jam on it. Actually, it goes very, very well. It's good. Norwegians, you are geniuses. I love it. I wasn't loving it when it was just plain cheese, but this combination, <laughs> this is going to be one of my breakfasts now. Priyanka, how do you like it? Like when I came to Norway, this was the first thing that everybody told me to try. But I'm gonna try today uh, before you all guys. It's called Brun Oz. It's from the brand called Tine. It says Rund Og Flidik Skivet, which means round and full bodied slices. These are brown cheese slices. This is a sweet cheese, unlike anything that I've tried before. So I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna eat it like Norwegians do. I'm gonna put it on a toast of bread with jam and I'm gonna taste it and tell you my reaction. This is how it is. It's a slice of brown cheese. It's very cheesy. The consistency of cheese is there. And yet it has a very mild sweetness to it. It's not like overpowering, but it's, it is sweet for evident reasons. I like it, it has a very sweet, it is sweet, but it's mildly sweet. So it doesn't like bother you. It doesn't like hit you like, oh my God, it's so sweet. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this cheese of brun os, which means brown sweet cheese on my toast of bread that I've already toasted. I'm gonna put it on my bread and I'm gonna take my jam atop, layer it like a typical Norwegian toast.
course it's like i think they they have uh, this kind of a combination in math pakke also math pakke is also very norwegian uh, style of having food no wonder norwegians are crazy about it and it's so popular why everybody is crazy about brun ost is because it is very delicious it is very tasty i can definitely picture myself having this in morning or in the evening it's a great snack you can have it with biscuits you can have it with bread you can have it by itself and it's really tasty i like it so quite impressed with brun ost now let's move to another one <laughs> when we were texting each other with priyanka do you remember we were mostly confused about this thing it's like a snack containing cheese together with chocolate it smells a little bit like cheetos <laughs> i don't know what shape is that <laughs> like really cheetos with milk chocolate i'm not feeling much cheese actually oh no there is a little bit aftertaste but i guess the chocolate it kind of kills the cheesiness it's okay but it's not like something very special well you're right geeta when i saw this the choco cheese the cheesier snack on the shelf of the grocery store i was literally taken aback because this looked really freaky and wacky to me i was skeptical how this combination is going to work because i have not really had something like this before let me open it before you guys and see how it goes it's supposed to be cheesy crispy and uh, let's see how it turns out so let me open it oh it's like pretty i got a tea <laughs> it looks like a tea let's eat it the cheese is hardly there like you literally have to concentrate and figure out if it does have cheese or not because i couldn't really figure out the cheese until there was a little mild aftertaste of the cheese and the cheesy aspect which on which the brand is promoting is is not really how it you know turns out when you eat it so it's like it's okay it's good it's definitely tasty but it's not something extraordinary that i will go wow about so yeah can you do like this trunk what <laughs> it's like that it's also like truly traditional norwegian thing so it's very very soft cake actually no significant smell it's sweet very sweet actually it tastes like mama's pancakes i cannot say that i will eat it a lot it's fine how do you like pranka you were very suspicious about this one i know but it's not so bad actually See, I can do it as well, Gita. It's not really that tough. The last and the final Norwegian snack is lefse. It looks like Indian naan and bread, just in the triangular shape. So I'm gonna taste it. It has five sticks inside, but then it's eaten as a dessert, and uh, it has some filling, sweet filling inside. So I'm gonna open it and see how it tastes. So yeah. This is triangular and it has something inside. It has something sweet, cinnamony, I guess. Let me eat it and tell you what it is. It has like it definitely tastes like roti naan. Very Indian in terms of the texture outside, but inside it is absolutely sweet. Like sugar, melted sugar and little bit of sugar crunch is also there. But will I have it again is the question. I don't really like it to be very honest. It's not something that I will again automatically reach out to and eat. I had it. It's okay, but it's not something that I'm really like excited and happy to have. So it's like I'll pass. And now let's sum up my top 5 of today's foods. Now, number 1 is going to be fiskekake. Wow. Just because I love fish and it felt so like almost eating like fish fillet really tasty really healthy love it number 2 would be it would be brunost just because i discovered this kind of combination of cheese on knackebrö and jam it really kind of killed my my uh, 
expectations because I thought I will not like it. Number three. Now it's getting a little bit harder. It's probably choco cheese. It was okay, nothing special, but it was okay. I felt, as it says here, Norsk Melki Chocolade. And I love Norsk Melki Chocolade. So this is why I am giving it the third place. But I wasn't feeling a lot of cheese in it. And number four would go to Lepse. It was fine, it was interesting and it was sweet. If you like sweets, it's okay. And number five would go to Pops. It was really like nothing special. I didn't even feel the corn. It was not so crunchy as I expected. Well, I'm not so sure. Maybe I will give another chance to these Pops. Maybe this one is going to be crispy. Oh my God, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Actually, now I feel like the third place goes to Pops. And the fifth place goes to these ones. Because now this looks like. And this looks like. Oh, and okay. Yeah, never judge by the first bite. What a suggestion. Okay, now now for real. Franka, it's now your turn to put down all of the five products in your ranking. Now comes the moment of truth. I was confused in the fifth slot because I couldn't make up my mind between two you know, snacks. But eventually I decided the fifth, the bottom most position will be for Lefse because I didn't really like this one. It was like the moment I had it, I thought that, that something was missing in this. It could have been better, but then it can be a personal preference for me. The fourth one is Choco Cheese. Well, I think the, some, the main thing that is wrong with this snack is marketing. It's promoted as a cheesy snack, but when you have it, you figure out it's not at all cheesy. So I think it's wrong and misleading marketing. And when you get to taste it, you figure out that it's nothing really extraordinary about it. You have like tasted so many snacks that are very similar to this. And it is like, it is like possible. It's nothing like big deal about it. Third spot, I will give to Pops. Well, this is a good snack. Like I can see myself reaching out for this and buying this again. It's like, I liked it. It was tasty, it was sweet. I like sweet, so I liked it. So I'll give it the third spot. Second spot, I will give to Bruno's, which is Norris, darling. It's a voila with a beautiful invention. So I loved it. Uh, brown cheese is something that I will definitely recommend you guys to go and try if you haven't already. Have it with bread and jam and you will go crazy about it. It's definitely very tasty. And first and the top position goes to Fiske Kaker. Well, Amazing! To be very honest, when I was doing the review when I bought it, I was not really uh, optimistic about this because I have not, I'm not really a fish person. But the fact that I'm giving it the top slot, the first position itself shows that how delicious tasty and really yum and healthy this is definitely i can definitely see incorporating this in my diet and uh, buying this more often so if you are a seafood person and you love fish or you want to give fish a shot try this you will be pleasantly surprised so this is all for today we collaborated especially for you guys for this norwegian snack series i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as me and geeta did and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and Geeta's channel, which is Goli's Girlfriend. And until more fun videos, this is me Priyanka signing off. Until my next video, bye bye.